Hello everyone, we will continue the topic change pointers technique and in the previous video I showed you change document log into CD, HDR and CD post table. I showed you change pointer log into this BDCP2 table. Now we will proceed further. This is our 100 client. If I will go to 100 client, in this 100 client, the description of this particular material is test. Now, if I will go to 200 client, this is 200 client. In this 200 client, the description of this material is testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 only. Now, we need to send the changes. Now, we need to send the data changes from 100 client to 200 client. And yes, now which technique will help us now? Change pointer technique, change pointer technique. And in this change pointer technique, your log is in this table itself. Now I will go to the program. This is our program which is used to send the changes, data changes from one SAP client to another SAP client. Now, extremely important understanding. Now, I am putting a message type mat mass. Whenever I will put the message type mat mass, it will check into this change pointer table. Into this change pointer table, where is the message type mat mass? This is the message type mat mass. Now, the most, most important thing. Are you able to see this particular column? That column is processing indicator. If I will go to back button, if I will go to back button, you can see we have a column processing indicator. If I will go to this particular table, this is the document number. Now, SAP will check into this particular table, where is the message type, what the message type you are passing and what is the processing indicator. Processing indicator is space. It means it has not processed yet. Whenever we will process, whenever we will execute, SAP will put X. X means this is processed. That's why at the initial level, I told you next time how system recognize that it should not process again with the help of that indicator only. So whenever you will put a message type, this program will check into this particular table which is, which is your change pointer table into this change pointer table where processing is space. Processing space means it has not processed yet. Now the next question. System is going for this message type. It has not processed. But how system identify that it has to change the description it has to pass the description to the 200 client. Just see, we only change the description. So SAP will check what is the change document number. I am talking about now change document number. During the starting itself, I told change document number is the base for the change pointer, change pointer. So whenever you will put a message type, SAP will check. It has processed or not processed. Yes, it has not processed. What is the change document number? This is the change document number. Now SAP will check into CD post or CD HDR table. What is for that change document number? SAP will check for this change document number. 
that description is changed from this to this. Now, this is how this program is working. So whenever I will simply, simply click on to the execute button, just see how this program will work. Whenever I will click on to this execute button, system will check into this change pointer table. Mat mass, it has not processed. It will check what is the change document number and what are the changes into that change document number. In that change document number, that description is changed. This is the old value. This is the new value. So SAP will generate the corresponding IDOCs because ultimately everything will transfer through IDOCs only. So SAP will generate a corresponding outbound IDOC and the corresponding inbound IDOC in the 200 client. And this is how SAP is transferring the changes. Now, whenever I will go for execute, I will show you. I will go for OK. Now, OK. Two IDOCs generated. Done. Now, whenever I will refresh that table, you will understand fully. Now, I am refreshing. Have you seen? SAP has put X. Now, X means next time SAP will not consider this record because it is processed now. Now, I will show you the IDOC. In this 100 client, I will show you the outbound IDOC. In the 200 client, I will show you the corresponding inbound IDOC. Now, we will check the corresponding IDOC's number in WE02 and WE05 transaction code. In 100 client, outbound IDOC will be there. And in 200 client, we have the corresponding inbound IDOC will be there. So I will go to WE02 or WE05 transaction code. You can check through tables also. You all know for IDOCs, we have three tables, EDIDC, EDID4, EDIDS. Anyways, people always believe in checking the final output, but just we will see also the IDOCs. Okay, so I will go for date. You can filter based upon other things also. Suppose if I will go for port number, you all know we created the port 16. I will go for OK. I will go to the last itself because we run around 130 or something. OK. We have the port number 16. This is the last item. If I will click here, I will go to data records. And you can see we have send underscore 40. I will check the description also. Test. So this is the IDOC number. Now I will check in 200 client now. We have the corresponding inbound IDOC or not. So I will go to 200 client. This is 200 client. W is 02. Okay. I will go to execute. If I will scroll down, I will go to the last only. Okay, 137. Time is same. So this is the IDOC. We'll see. Is this the IDOC or not? Data record. You can see send underscore 40. And you can see now that description is test also. If I will go to MM02 or 03 transaction code, now you can see description changed into this particular system also. Okay, this is test. If I want to trace the IDOC, it is already explained. Tracing the IDOC means if we want to check for this particular inbound IDOC, what is the outbound IDOC number of the 100 client, how I can check. It is already explained when I covered that topic, how to send materials from one SAP client to another SAP client. I will go to BD87 transaction code. I will put the IDOC number. 
four, two, one, five. I will go for okay. If I will click on to trace IDOC, one, five, four, one, five, four, six, four. If I will check in 100 client, it is 15464. So this is the way you can clarify also that for this outbound IDOC of 100 client, this is the inbound IDOC in the 200 client. Now, so we took the example, we just changed the description. Suppose again, after few minutes or few hours, suppose we are creating 10 materials. Suppose we are changing the description of 20 materials or we are changing something else. You all know your change document log will go into CD post and CD HDR table. Your change pointer log will go to BDCP2 table. Whenever you will run this particular program, anyways, whenever you will run this particular program, you all know you are running this particular program. So it will check into this change pointer table, but it will not take this particular record now because it is already processed at the initial level. I told you how system recognize that this is already processed with the help of this process indicator only. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, extremely important understanding. If the base is clear, we can understand the concept very, very easily. So what we did into this particular video, I went to that particular program, which is used to send the data changes from one SAP client to another SAP client. Now, what this program will do? This program will check the data into BDCP2 table because that is a table for change pointer log. Whatever the message type will you will put, it will check processing is it has processed or not processed. If it has not processed, it will check the change document number. It will take the change document number and go to CD, HDR or CD boss table. It will check what are the various things changed for that. And yes, it will simply, simply transfer those changes to the another client. And yes, at the last, IDOX is what with the help of IDOX only we are transferring the changes. So in 200, so in 100 client, we have the outbound IDOX. And in the 200 client, we have the corresponding inbound IDOC. I showed you in WE02 or 05 transaction code. And yes, after that, whatever you will create, SAP will not consider the records which are already processed, which are not processed. SAP will take and transfer the changes to the other client, whatever the other clients of SAP are there. Now, in the next video, we will cover the configuration of change pointer and that is again extremely important topic. So, that's it in this video. Thank you.